We got two trains running, funky jazz music playing. It's all we're going to be doing for 25 minutes. We're glad to have you here with us. Sit back and enjoy. Hey, this is Brian, and like I said, this is the Iron Horse Route, home of the Denver and Rio Grande Western. This is my N-Scale Model Railroad channel. We're glad you are here. If you're not a subscriber already, we want to encourage you to do so. Once you subscribe, we hope you'll click the bell icon, and we hope you'll share this with any of your other modeling friends that may not know about my channel already. We would appreciate it. We're glad you're here. We hope you'll enjoy. I'm not going to talk this to death. I uh, will discuss a few things about the layout as the trains are going on, as the trains are going around. But for the most part, we're going to let the trains run and the music play, everybody. All I'm going to be doing is changing camera angles. the F7A over there in um, at the East Portal of Moffat Tunnel over there at Eltham's and then over here near Satieri's Mill we've got a little uh, F7A and B for car cold drag the F7A six car mixed freight is coming through the Moffat Tunnel right now coming out of the West Portal and into Winter Park. To do its business, turn around and head back down to Denver. In future episodes, we will be brave enough to try some operation. That is not our purpose today. We're just going to have trains run. Thank you. 
Soul Drag right now. It is heading past Uri. Heading west towards McKernan's Mill. McKernan's Mill is between Uri's Warehouse and Elton's Mine. Elton's Mine is at the east portal of the Moffat Tunnel for any reference you may need. Drag goes past McTurnins and is heading towards Elton's Mine. It can pull off and pick up coal or it can keep on going towards Winter Park. I have work to do down there underneath the bottom of that helix uh, to get a turnout. I need to get a throw in there with the piano wire and all that stuff. Uh, BNSF6951 has a video on that. And, uh, so I've got to extend a ground throw because I can't reach through the coal mine to get to it. But once I can extend that, then I can actually determine whether or not the trains will go through that helix over there. I can actually turn it around underneath the helix where it can back back into the mill. Come underneath, around, and back back into the mill. Got three lines running into and underneath the coal mine in there to pick up coal. Car mixed freight F7 A and B are just creeping over to Flatiron, heading past Yule Reef and west towards McCurney. I got the cold drag coming out of the east portal of the Moffat Tunnel, running past Eltham. heading east towards Denver. I could also stop this cold drag right up here in a minute. Look, I could stop the cold drag right there. And I could back the cold drag off the main line and back into the other three lines without having to go under the helix through the turnout that I have to flip. Um, I can do that now. Although there's work to do on all those turnouts. In there. There's a bunch of turnouts together in a very close area. And they are functional, but they're not bulletproof by any stretch of the imagination. that you'll leave a comment. One of the things that I'd like for you to do when you leave a comment is if you are a musical type person and you have a preference, if you would like to suggest a kind of music, background music to play with trains running like this, operations and those kinds of things, I 
again, I'll be easing into doing some operations here and there. The problem is, is then you, you get a derailment and then you're shut down, basically. And one of the things I'm liking to do, I'm wanting to do here is uh, reduce editing. This is supposed to be a fun video with trains running and good music. And so if I get into a lot of operations, it could get into uh, more headaches than fun. And so, when I keep the trains on the main line, we are not bulletproof, but we have a better chance. The chances are reduced of derailment. I need uh, at least two more cameras. The next time I do this, I'm going to use some different camera angles. Uh, I can put a camera in and around that helix at Elton uh, in the tunnel. But if I do that, I am giving up another significant Another thing I'm going to do next time is I'm going to start the uh, ninja meeting with a different computer than what I've got OBS running on because I can't do that and I can just import the links in from the camera. And that way I don't have to wait on my computer that I'm recording on OBS right now. I am a little concerned that I have recorded almost 20 minutes the train's running now and it could be choppy. I'm a little worried about that. Basically, all that means is it's time for me to wipe down the track a little bit. I do use CRC-226 and no aux ID on my rig. I use the CRC-226 to clean the rail. I let that dry. And then I use NOAX ID on the turnouts. The locos distribute the NOAX from the turnouts around the main line. Again, if you have a musical preference, this is funky jazz that we're listening to right now. If you have a preference for musical stylings, please insert them in a the comment below. I have, I use the, the free music uh, library and I can filter for genre and mood. And 
meat at McKernan. Nice meat right there. I'll give you a quick tour if you stick around. I'll pick up one of the mobile devices and have a quick walk around the layout. AJ and I want to thank you for watching with us today. We appreciate you being here. Please leave us a comment below to let us know that you were here. 
click the thumbs up button for us if you don't mind, and make sure that that bell icon is checked. This is Brian with the Iron Horse Reeves, home of the Denver and Rio Grand Western. Thanking you for watching, thanking you for being here, thanking you for commenting. Y'all take it easy, everybody. Thank <laughs> you.